YouTube and welcome to your 27th JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be discussing a very important concept and a very, very confusing concept in JavaScript, which is hoisting. Now, technically, hoisting means to move the declarations of variables and functions to the top. Before starting this tutorial, I would like to remind you of the scoping. Now, uh, I guess I have taught the scoping in somewhere in the playlist. You can check it out. And in JavaScript, the variables are basically function level scope. That means var a is 100. And if I call this function my function, and I say var a is 200 here, and I call down my function right here, and console log a then this is 100. I hope you know this. If you don't know, then go back to my playlist of the scopes in variable and first of all learn this thing because this is gonna be useful in very much useful in this tutorial. Okay, so coming to tutorial. Now what is hoisting? As I told you, the ability or the feature of JavaScript to move the variable declaration to the top is known as hoisting. To explain this better, I would create an example. Okay, so let's create a variable a with value 1 and I'll create a function down here, change and I'll do if a and I'll just do where a is equal to 2 and I'll alert down here. Now what's what you think is happening I'm telling what you think is happening right here is or uh, okay for your simplicity let's rename this or reinitialize this variable to true what's happening here is this if statement checks that I am explaining that what actually looks to a regular user but this is not actually happening but I'm just telling what you think is happening so what you think is happening is that if a is false then run this statement and then alert a pretty simple and as the variables are function scope this a is actually accessible by this function right here right yes it's right but what do you think would be alerted it would be true or would it be two any guesses if you said true then you are completely wrong because this is where hosting comes in play now if we run this code in the browser let me show you oh, where's the notepad and let me call this function sorry and here's the browser and we get 2 but I mean what the heck is happening here this statement even isn't true this statement even doesn't run this line so why does JavaScript prints or alerts to right here why the heck is this happening I'll explain this now this function right here is technically just same as this function I'm writing down here and this function is like this one Now what's happening down here is what's the difference between these two the difference between these two is in this function we are declaring declaring this variable a again in this function before this if statement and then sorry we don't need the var keyword here and then we are assigning this value and then we are alerting a so now what happens is we have this a as true right here but as I told you variables are at a function scope so this a right here belongs to this function and since we have just initialized this a and not set any value to this this a is right now undefined okay so what JavaScript did it it moved the declaration of this variable a to the top of this function and then removed the keyword bar from here and left the the value assignment operator right here so one thing you have to remember is that in variable hoisting 
the only the declaration is moved to the top of the order not the assignment operator and assignment operator is obviously is equal to sign no need to mention that so what's happening here is javascript changed this code into this code and now javascript says okay so i have got a true here but the developer initialized a right here as well so i will use this a in this function all over so javascript says okay so the developer has initialized this to undefined and the value of undefined boolean undefined value of boolean is false so this statement technically executes and sets a to 2 and then alerts a so i know this is confusing but you just don't know how awesome thing you just learned in this tutorial and if you don't understand this tutorial i would suggest you to watch this two to three times and i'm pretty much sure that if you grab this concept then in the next tutorial what we'll be discussing about hosting would become a cakewalk for you so i'm telling again that if you don't understood this tutorial or any part of this watch this tutorial again because hosting is a very important concept in javascript and it is the most vulnerable concept where the developers do fatal mistakes and bugs in web applications so thanks for watching this tutorial and as usual i'll end by the video by saying don't forget to subscribe